Hey guys, Goku Sam for the win here. Ah oh, yeah, and welcome back to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle on my channel. Today I'll be battling my friend Carter, also known as Three Pick Win underscore no Three Pick underscore on Twitch and Aurora Gamer. I, he's not really called Aurora Gamer anymore, but whatever. But anyways, as you can see, he has a rain team here. He does not e or he does EV train his Pokemon, but he does not get perfect IVs. Again, Carter, you gotta breed. You gotta breed them perfect IVs. You might you might have won this battle. But this battle right here is a Tyranitar sweep. I did get some help, I think, from my Rotom, but that was it. But anyways, let's get straight into this battle. So, I kind of predicted him to switch out into anything, really, that... Like, I predicted him to either go for his Jolteon or his Heliolisk. So, I lead off with my um Darude here because I'm like eh I could I could use the damn earthquakes for days. And also I want to set up a D dance at the beginning to try get a sweep, which I did again, get a sweep. So right here I go for the D dance. Even though I'm slower than him, he can get like rain dance off or something. I was surprised he didn't go for rain dance at the beginning. That would have been a smart play. I don't know why he straight like straight up went for a focus blast because Focus Blast, d again, does have a chance to miss, and also, um, Darude would would have been able to live that because his special D gets boosted by the Sandstorm, and also, he is just bulky overall in special defense. So I go for the Earthquake here, taking out that thing after the, um, D-Dance, and then I go for the Crunch here, because I'm like, D-Dance is up, ah, I could take out the Starmie easily with the Crunch. Again, it's a Tyranitar sweep, so <laughs> as you can tell, it's not really that much of a fun battle to watch. I just want to try to get another battle recorded. So right here, I go for the Earthquake because I know I'm going to do a lot of damage. Either Oh, it is super effective. Wow, I forgot about that, actually. I thought water resisted ground, but whatever. So he goes for the Waterfall here. Again, if he put up the uh, rain at the beginning, he would have killed me with Waterfall there. I don't know, again, he, and that wouldn't have gone the sweep. He might have had a chance, but I don't know. I had Blissey still, so. No, again, he could have also taken out my Blissey with that um, Kabutops if he, if he played smart. Like, actually played smart with his Kabutops and saved it and shit. But anyways, I go for the Crunchy, and right here, I was actually surprised that I killed the Gudra. Because I didn't think Gudra was that bad in defense, but eh, I guess I was wrong. And right here, I was also surprised that he didn't have Air Balloon on his Jolteon. Because Jol he does have enough Val Points for it, for it. And also, it's very common on his, on Jolteon. But anyways, he sends out his last Pokemon, I'm pretty sure, Toxicroak. And he goes for the Bullet Punch. And I'm like, okay, if he gets crit here, GG. No sweep. I would have been mad because Tyranitar OP. But I go for the Earthquake here, taking out that last Pokemon, Toxicroak. And that's pretty much the end of the battle. GG, Carter. You got... Again, you got to breed from the IVs. And also, you should have set up the rain. You just got to learn a little more. You're good in doubles, but you got to work at singles a bit. I know I wasn't good at singles at one point. I was only good at doubles. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember, if you guys liked it, shoot that like button with a comment and me out.